Hey creators, today I'm gonna to show you an awesome effect. It is called the Prism Blur Effect, and it's super easy to add in DaVinci Resolve. You can use it in the free version or the studio version. It works in both just the same. And I'm gonna show you all the details of adding this, but it creates a super easy, super cool effect that can be used for music videos, for YouTube videos, for film, anything you like. It kind of fits the horror genre. If you're looking to do kind of a scary flick, this might be an effect that you wanna to add to your footage. And I'm going to show you how to put this together right now. Okay, so we're going to start. We have just a dude here kind of looking at the camera. And he's going to kind of stare us down here. And we're going to add this effect and we're going to create something a whole lot different looking with just this simple shot. Okay, let's get started. I'm working in the edit page, by the way, and if you need to get to that page, if you're not in it, hit Shift 4 and you can get there right away. And so I've got my video track on video track one, and I'm gonna layer some things above this that are gonna affect this track. And so to do that, we need to go to the, the effects, make sure the effects library is open, click the effects, and let's select an adjustment clip. We're gonna drag that over the top. And I want to do one more thing to this clip. So as we get into here, and he really starts about to get set here. Oh, I like the eye roll there. Okay, right there. Actually, right as he's rolling the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this clip here. Don't cut the adjustment clip above it. Go ahead and select that clip. Hit Control or Command if you're on a Mac. R and you'll get the retime controls. Go to speed change, and we're going to go to 50%. So we're gonna make this kind of a slow motion effect here. So we're gonna go regular speed. In fact, I'm gonna change that as well. Close that. Select the little portion of the clip before it. Hit Control R. And let's do 150% for that one. Close that, slide it over, get them lined up here, and make this adjustment clip the full length of both of these clips. And so this is going to be a little bit faster, and then it's going to go into kind of, he's staring us down in slow motion. So we have something to work with here now. Okay, so on this adjustment clip, we can add a number of things. And I like to use, there's some really great open effects out there. And so we're gonna search for prism here. And so you can see there's this prism blur effect built right into Resolve. It's available for free and for studio versions. To get to the settings there, open the inspector and go to the open effects tab. And we can see all those settings right there. Uh, this does have a vignette built into it. You can see we can adjust that, which is super handy. We don't have to add two to plug in effects to get our, our effects that we want. However, in this case, I do want to control that vignette. And this one, I can really only control the oval and it's kind of a horizontal oval. So I do want to add a vignette in here. So go ahead and type in vignette, drag and drop that onto the adjustment clip as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that prism blur, double click on the vignette so you can operate the controls for that. You can see there's a basic mode, there's an advanced mode, which is what I'm gonna wanna use. I'm gonna try this rectangle and we're gonna make the shape a little bit different. Let's pull this size down. That's pretty good. Let's actually go to, to the hexagon. Change this anamorphism down to kind of tighten up on the actual dude here. And let's center it. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. I don't wanna get his hair though. And I'm going to bring that size down just a little more so we're really focused in on his face. Let's make sure we've got that. Yeah, this thing's pretty good because it was on a, a tripod. You can see we still have that dude in there kind of walking in on the side. So I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so already that's just the vignette effect. So let's open the prism blur again, jump on those controls. You can see it added that blur in there already. And so the beginning part, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that blur down quite a bit, animate that. 
And then when we get in to when he's about to slow-mo here, I'm gonna hit another keyframe, and then I'm gonna pop it up to the point two. So we have that blur. And then I'm gonna start playing with this aberration. So the aberration is using the RGB values to give it this kind of this depth. And honestly, DaVinci Resolve, this plugin is the easiest way to add this effect. Uh, I've tried to do it in After Effects. It's not quite this simple. This plugin is awesome. So definitely take advantage if you're using uh, DaVinci Resolve, which that's a great addition. Let's go ahead and do some animation. And I'm gonna adjust these values over time. And I wanna set really these first four different values here. So we have these settings. I'm gonna move it up a little bit and I'm gonna change the value. So over time, we're gonna get these changing effects. So really these two aberration distance and aberration strength can have a lot of effect on your footage here and this Y position in this case. So continue to just animate these, and I'm gonna to continue to do that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And what I would typically do is add some more finishing touches onto this. So now that I've got the prism blur added, I'm gonna add some finishing touches and this is gonna be something that really makes this clip pop. And so let's go ahead and type in light and we're gonna find the light rays. Go ahead and add that to the adjustment clip as well. Open up the settings for this one. So let's go ahead and start the animation with a blend of one. And then I'm only gonna add this in select areas so about at this location. So what we need to do is, let's go ahead and set the source regions and I'm gonna look at the areas that I want to affect and I wanna select the edges. And so I'm gonna really focus in on the eyes. It is going to get the, the mouth and the nose as well. Uh, we can mask this out if we want and just focus on the eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to do this. If you wanna fine tune this on your project, go ahead. So the threshold setting is going to be what makes your selection. You can see this is what it's going to affect right now. Now let's go ahead and select final image. And this is what we're actually gonna see. So I wanna do from a location, that's correct. And I wanna focus in on these eyes here. So it's gonna be somewhere around there. And so we wanna do a soft bloom and I want to do a brightness. I want to add a color to this so pick your color I'm gonna start with a red the darker the color you have kind of the softer you're gonna have so that's gonna be pretty bright you want to darken that a bit you can see what that does to the the color itself let's go ahead and overdo it and make it super bright and we can also select more brightness with this slider bar and we can soften the effect we don't want to be too harsh but we want to give it the effect that we want for sure and this is gonna select your length. So you can just make some setting changes there to select your different features. This is your composite mode. Um, you're gonna wanna select an add, or you can do uh, something like a color dodge. That would work as well. I like to use that one. There's also the harsh. If you wanna even add more light, like I said, I like to use the soft here. And so we can really get some some cool effects here. So I have that animated on. And if you don't like red, you can choose different colors here. Pick what you like. There's tons of different colors that are really gonna make this pop. So Okay, so that adds just a little bit more of an enhancement to this video uh, to really give it kind of a different look. So. Uh, what we started with was just such a simple, easy to make clip. Anybody can make this. And we turn this into something quite a bit different that gives it a certain stylized effect, great for different genres.
The chromatic aberration effect built into this plugin as well is a great addition and we can give it that depth and that kind of that really weird look, I guess. So I've seen that in a lot of horror movies, obviously. So it's easy to add here and resolve. So hopefully creators, video makers out there, uh, you're going to be using this prism blur effect in DaVinci Resolve to create your music videos in the future and making all your great horror movies. I really want to see what you guys make, so uh, post something in the comments if you create something really cool with this effect or something on your channel. Love to take a look at it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Everyone take care. Be safe out there.